do another video. I'm gonna talk about all this fucking little. There's a little bit of beef simmering on the timeline. Some steak al pavre. It's a type of beef. Between Levin and Ginger, talking about CRTs versus spotters. People saying CRTs are better because they're less laggy. Then people said, no, monitors are better. CRTs are too fucking heavy. And I don't work out because I'm a smasher. I got little tiny bones. And I they'll break if I lift a CRT. So my bones will shatter and I will be a shell of a man. And we can't use CRTs. Who's correct in this de debate? No one knows. No one knows who's correct, but I know. And I'll tell you what to, what I think. And from what I think, you can decide what you think. Ginger's Edgeworth? How the fuck did Ginger get to be Edgeworth? Who the fuck is Leffen? Leffen's Phoenix, right? It's a bot. It's a bot. No, it's 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 computer generated. It's it's a bot. It's a bot. Yeah, Leffen should have been Larry Butts with the hair. That's the only character that would have been acceptable. Maybe Godot. Leffen should have been Larry Butts. I know way fucking more about netcode, male mechanics, monitors, CRT, and input lag than you do. I'm taller than you. I'm better looking than you. I've got the gamer genes. I'm better at basketball. I have better tech skill. My Falco's better. I got 17th of Genesis 2 with Falco. You just said it looks strong. You were the one trying to look strong to win the argument. Objection! You just asserting that you knew more. Why? What? Why are? Is it all about looking strong? How did this? That's such a weird phrase. They're both. Ginger's like Leffen. You're trying to look strong. Leffen's like Ginger. I think you're the one that's trying to look strong. You're the one that's trying to look strong. Strong, big, strong man. You're so strong. Ginger's like, no, Leffen, you're strong. Just <laughs> say it's. It's like a weird way to phrase it, I don't know. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Raffle, you are the one asserting that you know more than everyone else, but sure, man, and you're the one who looks wrong. Down to have a rational discussion. Thank you, punch the head. Appreciate that. When you have cooled down. Uh... Okay, well, this is, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, I, I I don't know what you guys got out of that. Um, here's what I got out of that. One, they both look strong, so that's cool. Two, um, <laughs> two is Miles Edwards said, shut the fuck up, which was funny. It's, it's just fucking, <laughs> this is, it's just funny. Uh, okay, so I think Levin's basically saying, here's, here's what I think, here's, let me, let me summarize what's going on. So Levin basically said, Hey, monitors are better than CRTs. It actually turns out that with the modern advancements in, you know, lag reduction and, uh, you know, proper adapters and things like that, it's actually easier to have, it's easier to run a tournament with monitors. You don't have to lug them around. They are, you know, we're used to playing on monitors all day at this point. Um, it's easier to integrate with FGC tournaments. They're actually more consistent because some CRTs can actually have, have lag. Um, and, and so it's actually easier to be consistent with monitors and then I think Ginger is coming in and he's saying, no, man, CRTs are better. Um, but I don't really. I'll be honest with you guys. None of this thread has any actual arguments one way or the other. Like Ginger didn't actually say anything about CRTs and why CRTs are better. And Levin didn't actually say anything about why monitors are better. Um, I understand the arguments for monitors. I think the arguments for CRTs is CRT, the, the CRT argument in my mind, is, uh, you know, mostly they're very lag-free. Look, I, I played some CRT Melee over the weekend at, at the Summit Studio. I, I love CRT Melee, obviously. 
Uh, and I think, you know, they're, they're easy to get your hands on. They're easy. They're, they're, they're just, they're less expensive. It's less expensive to have a, a CRT setup. I do think that most people at this point probably have a decent monitor setup because we're all playing flippy all day, but, um, monitors are much more consistent, easier to replicate. I mean, the one thing about monitors is they are more expensive for sure. There's no, there no, no ifs, ands, or buts. Monitors are definitely more expensive. You can, you can stock a local with CRTs for, for, for less money. Um, in terms of lugging the the equipment around, of, of course, that's a, that's a whole other question. But they are they are they are cheaper. You know, you can get some pretty good CRTs for uh for 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 cheap. They are getting harder to find for sure. You know, they they're not manufactured anymore. The CRT high pitch pinging noise. Do people actually care about that? I would be the first to say I have never cared about that. I have never been like, oh CRTs, but what about that buzzing noise? I, do people care about? I know there's some people that care about it. If you if you do care about that, if you're one of these people where you know those sorts of kind of frequencies of noise bother you. Uh, that does suck. And don't get me wrong, I'm, I, I do feel for you. Um, I do kind of like the buzzing noise. I kind of like the buzzing noise if there's music playing, but if the CRT is muted, it's weird. If it's just the buzzing noise, it's weird. But if there's actual sound coming out of it, you know, game sound, then I like it. To me, it's a pretty small consideration, oh, if I'm being honest, but it is what it is. Why does Ginger diminish potential sponsorships? Is the whole art one of the arguments wondering wanting what's the best for me? Yeah, I mean, I think monitor sponsorships are totally a consideration. Why not? Why the fuck not? I mean, the thing is, you can already, you don't need, I'm going to put this out there. I don't think you need monitors at tournaments for monitor sponsors to get involved with Melee because all of us play Slippy all day. We all want low lag, you know, Slippy monitors for Slippy. If you're a monitor company, if you're Asus or, you know, Asus or, um, you know, anyway, if you're Asus, let's say Asus. Asus is a great example, right? Because I have an Asus monitor. Ben, yeah, ben Q would be Ben, ben Q, Zowie, yeah. Uh, if you're a monitor uh, brand, right, you could totally, I, I could totally see a world where even if tournaments are running CRTs, you could, you could sponsor a Melee tournament and, and, you know, run ads for monitors that, that Smashers do need. Because we're all gamers and we all play fucking Slippy all day, even if even if our offline tournaments might be on CRT. So I don't think it's like the biggest consideration. Um, maybe I'm wrong though. Maybe my understanding of this one's a little off. So don't take that as the word of God or anything like that. I mean, certainly be cool if you know, monitors could. But you know, we've had we've had headphones like you know HyperX. It's not like we have HyperX headphones at all of our tournaments. It's not like we have HyperX tournaments at at our at our locals and stuff like that, or even our some of our regionals, but. But, uh, you know, there's headphone sponsors for, for Melee events. Um, that being said, I don't know. I think it's a good point. I think it's a good point. These days, there are great ways to test monitors. Um, one of them has uh, been linked in the chat from, from my boy Onion Knight, who's a controller monitor. Time Sleuth Display Lag Tester. Okay, this is cool. Never never seen this one, but that's that's pretty dope. There's also uh, Fizzy. Let's, let's go to Fizzy's Twitter. Let's get some of his thoughts on the matter because Fizzy chimed in. Fizzy, Fizzy had to get in on it, you know, as a fellow tall person. Leffen's tall, Ginger's tall. Well, who else is tall? Fizzy. And so, Fizzy being as tall as he is, said, these two tall guys are arguing, let me as a fellow tall guy chime with my own thoughts. I'm not sure people know I made a lag tester in the past. I have some really good ideas for improving a test. Any setup that can run melee, that would improve Dolphin, console, console lag reduction, etc. But I'm working on ranked. It's Fizzy. I have recently designed a device basically tests lag objectively using the full setup. So the full Wii through whatever conversion device you're using all the way through the monitor and it tests the lag. And I wanted to show that so you guys know exactly how I'm getting the numbers that I get. I'm going to show that test now. So I designed a homebrew app which... You know what kind of blows my mind? Fizzy's from Montreal originally. But he doesn't really sound like it, I think. Maybe he didn't grow up in Montreal. Maybe he moved there at some point. The device well, anyway. basically uses. So turn it on. Plug the audio output of the Sewell Weed HDMI. Oh, I moved to Nordgaard from Montreal. I'm going to hold it up pretty close to the screen. And oh. I'm going to press the button. The it's going to read the fucking... Oh, what? What? Twelve point one zero. A CRT for that long. How the fuck does that work? You hold up the monitor, you push a button. What the fuck? Mine would have read eight. What? How does it work? If I hold it up to a human being, will it tell me their reaction time? Point three three. That means that I have 
a little under four milliseconds of lag. This is kind of a... Wait, what? what that have, means what? that I have... CRT for that line would have read 8.33. That means okay. that I have a little under four milliseconds. Okay, four milliseconds of lag is fucking completely negligible. A frame is about 16 to 17 milliseconds. Specifically, it's 16.67. So if you've got four milliseconds of lag, that is completely negligible. And don't let any top player tell you differently. Seconds of lag. This is kind of even if you could somehow notice it, you would get used to it immediately, and it just it just it just wouldn't affect your gameplay at, at all. Kind of a worst case. And again, human reaction time is about a hundred. You know, on a on a my like on a good day, about hundred eighty. Number a little bit. It so hundred eighty compared to four. You know what I'm saying? Tests for the actual brightness of the light. Even though this thing looks like it's going bright white immediately to your eyes, with a high-speed camera, you can tell that it actually fades into bright white. So it starts black and goes, you know, maybe a little bit gray. Hey, well-edited so video. So it takes a while for it to reach job. full brightness. On a CRT, it well reaches done. full brightness immediately. I actually tried to program the device so that it would look for a specific brightness threshold before it considered a good signal. This number might be a little bit worse than you might have seen elsewhere, but it might be more accurate too. Elsewhere. I'm not exactly sure what- <laughs> He just says, this number might be a little bit better than you might have seen elsewhere. I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> cool. I haven't seen any other numbers, so... <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't have any Percentage of elsewhere numbers to compare to, but because of the I believe sensor. you. I only tested the middle line now. The actual test, how you would normally do it, is test the top line, 7.131. And then you test the bottom test and you take the line, average. 12.11. Test the bottom line, 16.93. And you would average those three, yeah. and that would be sort of your average frame lag, which, like I said before, on a CRT is equivalent to 8.33. That is pretty much the test as it is. So I just cool. Well, I would say that uh, fucking look, dude. If monitors add four milliseconds, we should run monitors. I think for for me, like I've played on some shit monitor setups. Um, and let me tell you, I think I think what what goes. This is my experience at the most recent monitor tournament I went to, which was low tier city seven. Low tier city seven, I played some off stream sets where I was really annoyed by the monitors, but it was not because of any sort of input lag or anything like that. It was because there was no audio and no audio on a setup makes your reactions way more shot than four milliseconds of display lag. I played a stream set against, I forget the, I, dude, I, I wish I remember what the guy's tag was because we, we had a really fun set. I played this Fox player. It went to game three on stream and it was a really fun set. And um, he's from Texas. If anyone remembers who the fuck that guy was, shout out to that guy because it was a fun set. Space Animal something. His tag was like Space Animal something. Um, but anyway, yeah, we played a stream set and the stream setup had head headphones. So when I played the stream set, low, low Space Animals or something, the stream setup, I played with heads a headset and it felt great. And it was, compl it was the same monitor, but I had audio and it felt great. Spaceanimals.com, that's the guy. Yeah, 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 that guy, that guy, that guy. We had a Game 3 set, really fun set. On stream, it felt great because I had a headset and there was audio. Off stream, it was shit because there was no audio. And I would say that for people, because I've seen this argument. I've seen people say, dude, those monitors low tier 7 were awful, blah, blah, blah. Hbox lost to Albert. Well, it, was it any coincidence? Hbox lost to Albert off stream in winners, but when he played him in top 8, on stream with head, with a headset, he won pretty easily. I would say that the low tier city seven argument is, as someone who actually entered that tournament and played both off stream and on stream, I would say that argument is 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 largely misguided. Everything to do with the audio and nothing to do with particularly input lag or anything like that. Okay, that that's my that's my take on the low low tier city seven fiasco. Um, can't hear lasers or side beat, dude. I yeah. Yeah, that's a way bigger deal on you know on on a setup with no audio, and I think that you know when we when we when we talk about moving tournaments to using monitors instead of CRTs, that is a consideration. We do have to make sure that there are ways for even if it's bring your own audio, even if we just provide splitters and players have to bring their own head, headphones or whatever, because you know most players have headphones, and you have to plug in your own headphones. That's that's fine. I'm I'd be okay with that, and and it's just made clear in the branding of the tournament. Hey. 
bring your own headphones, you know, if you want to hear. I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with that. I think most people have some earbuds they can bring to a tournament, right? I'd be okay with that. But um, at FGC tournaments, at Evos, you know, if you go to Evo or, F- you know, CEO, CEO, combo breaker, you know, tournaments like that, you'll have headsets at the setups. So they play on monitors, but there are headsets that you that the players can wear. And I think that is the bare minimum. But I think if, if that's what we're talking about, because I, I, I'm, I'm always going to be empathetic to the TOs first and foremost. And TOs fucking hate CRTs. I'm always thinking about the, the, the longevity and the health of Melee. And for me, if I am going to be firmly on the side of whatever's better for the health of the game and the tournament scene, and I think that there are t- TOs that would love to run Melee if they could run them on monitors. And they just don't want to deal with the hassle of setting up a bunch of CRTs. And like some of my most favorite tournament experiences I've been to were FGC tournaments. And I think if, if that's what we need to, to reintegrate with the FGC and, and have melee at some of these FGC majors, um, which are always just a really fun time, in my opinion, then I think we just do it. I think we do it and we never look back. 100%. But CRTs are cool too. Again, I'll always have a soft spot in my heart for CRTs. Of course. I mean, th- th- something to be said about just the fact that you can get a CRT for 30 bucks and play on the CRT and you just kind of, you usually know what you're going to get. You know, I think they're wonderful. Especially for people getting into the game that might be on a budget, college students, stuff like that, you know. But um, for tournaments, I say I say standardized monitors. I don't know. We have the, we have the technology at this point, unless it comes down to the cost. And and, and this is going to be from a TO 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 basis, right? It's going to be up to ultimately whoever's running the tournament. What do I value? Do I value for my event the ease of setup, or do I value the lower cost of just getting a bunch of CRTs off Craigslist or something like that? For me, that's the consideration. But that's that's up to the tournament admin. It's not up to little old little old me. Certainly not up to Ginger and Leffen, although they they wish it were. What else are we missing in the in the discourse? Practical test is something to weigh in. So thank you, whoever linked me that. The game engine and polling drift mean that melee already has sixty ms plus or minus sixty ms of input lag. My odd take: most people, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Four ms of input lag. Four ms is a qu- less than a quarter of a frame, dude. Less than a fucking quarter of a frame. I promise you. Most definitely don't notice the settings of the pieces can be far more than 4MS. Yeah. Dude, 4MS of lag is such a tiny amount. F- fucking such a tiny amount, dude. No, I completely agree with PTAS here. IBW weighed in a little bit. Um, I lo- love, by the way, uh, you know, just kind of the, in, the, in the falling out of this, all of this. Shout out to Moki for having just wonderful. This is how you be a streamer right here. Uh, Moki also said, I think Moki put out a tweet. He said, um, uh, CRT versus monitor stream. I will vouch for whichever side gives me more subs. God respect the hustle. Oh yeah. This was, this was IBW's tweet. Yeah. Rollback melee with good connection. CRT melee. Inconsistent lag, annoying whiny noises. Again, I don't think the, I don't think the fucking noises are that big a deal. Uh, heavy as hell is a big deal. Inconsistent lag to me. I don't know, man. Even the laggiest CRTs I played on did not feel that lag. Sometimes too dark to see battlefield is fair, but also I've had this problem with monitors. You can just turn up the brightness on both. To be fair. I don't know. I kind of agree with uh, the monitor, monitor gang. I kind of agree with monitor gang, you know. But at the same time, it comes down to what the TO wants. It comes down to what the TO wants. I will say that one of my worst experiences with being able to see my opponent's character was I played Dewan on... Because um, he played Black Dr. Mario. We played at Lanhammer. Landhammer 2000, and I believe it was 2011. It might have been 2012. And I played him on the stream setup. And there were two problems. One was the resolution of the monitor wasn't correct. So it was like widescreen melee, and it looked weird. It was like stretched. It was like the bad widescreen. And we were playing on Battlefield, and the monitor's brightness was set too low, and I could not see Shroom's Dr. Mario. And I remember he neared at me, and I thought he was empty jumping, and then he touched me, and I went flying. And I was like, oh, fuck, he was nearing. And I realized somebody didn't, tweak the fucking settings on this monitor properly. Now, that being said, this was 2011. One, I think we will be, I think this is not, this is not standard. We didn't have, sta- you know, this is, this is a fixable problem. And I don't think that a modern tournament running on monitors would, would have that same exact issue. You know, food for thought, just in response to IBDW, you can totally be playing on a monitor and have the dark battlefield is too fucking dark to see what the fuck is going on problem. That can happen on a monitor. In fact, it's I've had that the worst on monitors, way worse than I've ever had on a CRT. So it is what it is. 
<laughs> bougie CRT Invitational. Yeah, CRTs are going to be the, you know, they're going to be the, uh, the El Clasico. But we'll see what happens. I mean, you know, we got to get back to offline first. We'll see what Summit does. Summit's going to be the first offline tournament. Be interested to see what Summit. I mean, Aiden's, Aiden's at the helm there, so Aiden can do whatever he wants ultimately. So maybe we'll check back in in a month or two, eh? When uh, when July rolls around and we have Summit, when it's Summit season, we'll see what we'll see what Summit's doing for their uh, for their for their setup, and then we're really gonna know what the future. I think it's gonna take that one first TO to pull the plug, you know, the first TO to or not pull the plug, but pull the trigger. That's gonna be like, uh, okay, I'm running a real fucking major on. I guess low tier low tier city kind of already did that, but Summit Summit doing it would be huge for what it's worth. I think Summit doing it would be huge. All right, well, that's about the summary of the Monarch CRT discourse. Uh, what else is there to talk about? I guess nothing. Nothing.